It's time, everybody. We've got a brand new DLC announcement. Apologies if my voice is a little bit raspy. I just woke up, saw the uh, the notification that we were getting a new high caliber weapon pack, and I had to pop on and get this video made real quickly for all of you. This is going to be a pretty impressive pack to get a hold of. We're going to pause it right here and take a look at our very first weapon. What we've got right here is a 10 gauge semi-automatic shotgun, which is going to be a pretty incredible thing to have in the game. The only thing that I don't understand is why they went with a 10 gauge semi-automatic before a 12 gauge semi-automatic when the 12 gauge has been requested for years at this point. I guess maybe they figure since people have been wanting a 12 gauge semi-auto for so long, maybe just take the extra step and go with a 10 gauge because it's more powerful. I'm assuming that was probably the thought process, but I would have preferred a 12 gauge, though this is still going to be a really good addition to our arsenal of shotguns and, and likely it will become one of the best ones that we have in the game. Now, as we continue our look at the brand new trailer for this weapon pack, we've got a few little uh, scenes of them just walking through with the other brand new weapon, which is a 4570 handgun. I do not really see a use for this, to be honest. This is going to be one of those guns that is more of, it's for the people that have wanted another handgun in the game. It's not really going to be something that's super groundbreaking or useful as it's a 4570. We all know how the 4570 performs in the game. It's very underwhelming and not a lot of people use it because it's got limited range and there's a lot of guns in the same class range that just perform better overall. But this is still going to be a cool addition as something to take out if you want a little bit less weight because I'm going to assume that it's going to be a very lightweight class 9 handgun, which is going to be a good thing. It is going to be good to have another lightweight class 9 weapon for those of you that like to pack light and be able to carry extra stuff like tents. That is the one area where I could see this being quite useful is if you're carrying your tents with you and you want to still be able to have a full range of different caliber weapons, you could probably carry this, the 243 handgun, and then maybe the 22 handgun, and you'd be able to cover pretty much every single class range. So you totally could do a triple handgun loadout now and actually have it be a very lightweight and still pretty viable setup to use. But that is provided that this handgun has at least a range of 150 meters. I'm hoping that it will be able to shoot out to 150 meters without any problem, but I guess time will tell. We'll see whenever they drop it. But now we get to the rifle that is definitely the one I am most excited for. This is going to be the showstopper from this pack. The 300 Magnum AR. Holy crap. This is exactly the type of gun that I was hoping for. This one is going to absolutely steal the show. I mean, just look at it. It's a 300 Magnum AR. That's just crazy. That is absolutely ridiculous. This is going to be a rifle that's going to be useful for everybody in pretty much every situation. Now, the only question I have is how many bullets is it going to be able to hold? Because we already know the 300 Magnum is an absolute powerhouse. 300 Magnum is always going to be a very useful caliber in the game. And so getting one in semi-automatic is going to be very powerful. But is it going to be a three round magazine? Is it going to be a four, five, six round magazine? What are they going to go with? I'm going to assume either four or five because Five seems to be the standard for the ARs. We've got both of the other ARs in the game that max out at five rounds. But then we have the 300 Magnum bolt action, which has a four round magazine. So are they going to go with uh, four rounds just like the bolt action? Or are they going to go for three to make it so the bolt action still has, you know, one realm where it's better? Or are they going to make it just like the other two ARs and give it a five round magazine? I'm really curious about that. The other thing that I am a little curious about is what the recoil is going to be like, because if this thing has a ton of recoil, then it won't be as good as if it's got like a moderate amount of recoil or a low amount of recoil. I mean, if we're going by real life standards, an AR like this, like of this type, it should have low recoil because in general, usually ARs are quite easy to control and even the higher caliber ones. Depending on, obviously, the stock and stuff like that that you've got attached to it, and like muzzle brakes and things like that, of course, are going to uh, change the way it performs, but I feel like it should have either the same recoil or a little bit lower than what we have for the 300 Magnum Bolt action. 
That's going to be it for this video, though, guys. I just wanted to show you guys the brand new weapon pack. As you can see, they're kind of scrolling through some skins that are going to be coming with it as well. We will get five cosmetics with the pack, which is kind of cool. I'm more excited about the pack, but it is nice that we're going to get a few skins as like a bonus with it. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon pack. It's definitely going to be a mixed bag, in my opinion. There's a couple guns that are going to be quite good, and then one that's probably only going to be used by a small portion of the community. But let me know what you guys think. What is the one you're most excited for? For me, it's the 300 Magnum AR because that thing just looks insane. That thing looks crazy. So I'm very excited for that. But let me know what you're most excited for. And if you haven't already, sub to the channel. Leave a comment and a like down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.